Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. If you're gonna tell people the truth, tell the absolute truth. You and Puff was taking a picture with his new shot thing before he before he even um got killed. But you never really addressed that. So if you don't start addressing stuff, bro, address the real stuff, man. Listen here, Mace. What I told you was that the LAPD showed me a picture of me, Puff, and the nigga who shot Big. Why would you and Puff be taking a picture with a dude who did that? That don't make no sense. What do you mean? The nigga walked up to Puff car first. Why was y'all with him? Why was... Puff was in the car. I was standing on the outside. This nigga was coming up down the drive. He was coming down the street. What are you talking about? Let me answer the question. You guys were the security. If somebody shot the biggest rapper in the world, why nobody shoot? Why y'all didn't shoot back? Y'all had guns. Man, hey man, listen man, check it man, it's your boy ECEO man, I've I seen this online, uh, I just came across it, and I just, I've done a lot of interviews, and I'm always interviewing, and, and, and when I talk to OG Pyru, uh, when I talk to a lot of different people uh, that I interview, whether it be Lamar Lubin or whoever, they give me these biggie stories man, and this story right here, Gene Deal is basically saying that, you know, the day that this happened, you know, like he, this guy who he thought or who he alleged to have shot Biggie came up to them. And so I really was like, wow, you know, I never looked at it from that angle. But at the end of the day, I know somebody who going to always tell me what's going on with the situation because they was actually there. OG Pyru is in the building. What's going on, OG Pyru? Hey, 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 I'm here. I, I hear this and I, I hear these, these, these dudes throwing rocks and hiding in their hand. Uh, yeah, this 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 was a big deal, you know. And uh, now, what year was this? This is in the nineties, right? Like ninety six, right? No, no, no. This was uh, nineteen ninety seven. No, no. This this happened. Uh, Pop got killed in two thousand. I mean, nineteen ninety six. So this this had to be. 2000, 2001. Nah, for real? It was that, I thought it was closer than that. No, I think, let me make sure. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm trying to figure out, you know, like, you know me, I'm always trying to figure it out. Uh, it, it, was, it was 97. It was 97, because it was pretty close. Yes, sir. It was 1997. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, because they, uh, that's when they had them, I'm, coming, I'm going back to Cali. And me and Captain Shaheed Muhammad was doing a detail with uh, um, uh, Black Ground Records. So we, everybody was at on in Beverly Hills at the Nico Hotel, and uh, we saw uh, Biggie and the entourage when they pulled up about two o'clock. Now, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. Was Gene Deal with them then? Gene Deal was with them then, and so Gene Deal is he's. I, I tell you again. All these Negroes that they 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 speak about every black thing, but Gene Deal when they got out of the car, Gene and uh, Biggie went over to Fatburger. They they got out of the car at the parking lot, walked over to Fatburger, and Puffy and two white detectives walk, were walking up to the entrance when Captain Shiny Muhammad approached uh, Puffy and said, "Man, if you need us, let us know." This police that I later find out is 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 Keaton, the one that that claims that uh, Uchi did the shooting. He tells Shahid Muhammad that we got this. So why is not Gene talking about? He talking with the police uh, gave him the pictures. He know that the LAPD was supposed to be on the security with them on the security team that night. So you telling me that the detectives they were LAPD and they were with them that night. They were with him. They were they was with Puffy at that time, and later on went to the Peterson Museum with them. And Gene Deal, when he first identified, he said it was a peanut head black guy that had a bow tie on. So Rafael Perez was in the building. Um, 
Reggie Wright Jr. was in the building. He claimed he wasn't there, but he's, you can hear him talk about when they went to the hospital and he claimed Mace was so out of it that Mace didn't know what was happening and Mace couldn't identify anybody. But I sent you pictures of Gene. Of, 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 yeah, I seen that picture of, of, of this guy uh, and I'll put, put it up on the screen so everybody could see it, but uh, yeah, it's like it's a, a drawn picture. I guess that's the picture that somebody had. That's the, that's the first drawing picture that they had, Amir Muhammad. It's supposed to be that. It's a picture of Amir, and he's a clean-shaven. And the, the when Cleveland claimed to get out of a lawsuit, said that they had 99% that Poochie was the killer. Poochie had a beard before and after. Poochie looks like a little pit bull. He does not look anything like a Muslim. So who is this that he's referring to that took the picture? Is it Poochie or is it this guy? Who took what picture? When he said, I think he said they took a picture together. He, he, he claimed he took a picture with Amir Muhammad, the peanut head Muslim. Okay. He, he said earlier that him and, and Puffy had, had uh, the, the police has a picture so the police were surveilling. They were in the house for them to show him pictures of the the Muslim that was supposed to walk up on him and Puffy. But he never said that the, the person that walked up on him was Poochie. And Poochie looks nothing like a Muslim. He's a gang member. He wasn't even there that night. So this was a plot that uh, Reggie Wright and LAPD put together to deflate the thing that Perez was there, that why would police have anything to do with this? And they never accused Poochie until after Poochie died. Gene Deal knew who the murder was, and he was part of it. So did Gene Deal, so you saying Gene Deal, you feel like he was more involved than what he let on? Or way more involved. Like Mace said, y'all had guns, why didn't you shoot back? That's something Mace just said when I was listening at this clip. Yeah, so you, you're security, you're right there, and like he said, the biggest rapper in the world gets gunned down and you don't shoot a shot? Wow. Nail shot, ring out. So nobody ever shot back. Okay, how long was it when you seen Biggie alive till he died that night? We, I saw him, at, I think they came in about 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. California time. He had on a all-white uh, walking suit with a, with a white mink on. And when he left going to the awards, he had, that was about six o'clock when he left. Cause I, I, we were on uh, Leah, Genuine, um, Missy Elliott, Magoo, and um, what's their producer name? Um, I can't think of the other brother's name. And when we were coming back from the awards and we went back to the Nico Hotel, we were all getting in the limousine. Captain Captain Shaheed was with Barry Hankerson, and they told me to go up and get Aaliyah. When I went upstairs to get Aaliyah, when I came back down, Captain Shaheed informed me, now we can't go to the Peterson because they say Biggie just got shot. Wow, man. We were still at, we were still at, the, uh, at the Hotel Nico. By the time we got, because um, Cedar Cyanide Hospital is right around the corner from the uh, Nico Hotel. By the time we got there, it was a thousand people in the emergency room. Every all outside, everybody was. It was straight chaos there. Do you? So you 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 feel like Gene Deal knows a lot more, and basically that he's he knew he was a part of everything that was going on, or do you feel like he I just got? Say, I would, allegedly. Allegedly. I wasn't there. I don't know what that man was thinking. I can't go into because you saying that they didn't shoot back. Why would why wouldn't they shoot back? But and because and, and like I said before, he's picturing everything about the incident. But why is he not talking about the two white police that were supposed to be doing security? LAPD. Wow. So the night Biggie was shot, he never you never seen anywhere where he mentioned these two white officers that was with him. Never that. said anything about that. Wow. All right, man. And hey, man. They were present at the Hotel Nico with Puffy at that, that day. 
Wow, man. Hey, man, I'm going I'm to I'm end it like that, man. I'm going to be calling you back, man. Like I said, I just seen this, and I was like, man, let me ask OG, because OG Piru was there that night. I know he would have, you know, you, you was there in L.A. when this whole thing went down, close up on the action, seeing him that day. And um, I just was like, man, so the, the plot, and they never found anyone for this, this, this murder. Uh, no, they allegedly, after Poochie gets killed, Allegedly, this Greg Keaton from the LAPD that was there that day uh, says that in the evidence that he was 99% sure that Poochie did the killing. So they're trying to put the conspiracy that Suge and his girlfriend hired Poochie. Poochie was not there. Poochie had a beard. And if you look at Poochie, Poochie looks nothing like a, like a, uh, a, a, uh, a Muslim. He, he, he wore a beard at that time. He died in the streets on Central. They gunned him down on his motorcycle, and he had the beard then. So they're using Poochie as a scapegoat the same way they use Baby Lane as a scapegoat. You, you, you announce these blacks that did something after they're dead. But we know who really killed Pac. We know who really killed Biggie. And it's bigger than what you think about some Chug had it to do. It, it, it didn't happen like that. Wow. Thank you so much, OG. Man, hey, man, make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys let us know in the comments what you think. Um, hey, the plot tickets, man, Gene Deal. Um, uh, Mace, uh, these guys that are talking, uh, the, the, the bodyguards that were there that night, people that was there that night, people are speaking out. A lot of these stories are being misconstrued according to a lot of the people that you talk to. What do you think happened that night when Biggie was killed, man? Get in the comments. Let us know, man. Like and subscribe to the channel, man. Boss Talk 101, man. Make sure you guys share this whole video, whatever you got to do. Boss Talk 101, what a boss is talk. Boss is talk. Man. That's right. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me.